Hey everybody, it's me, Lindsay Star. Welcome back to a vlog, a wrestling vlog video. So, before we begin, if you guys do me a favor and you please hit that like button. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share. Like, a uh, notification should be on by clicking that little bell. <laughs> anyway, and let's begin, shall we? So, apparently, I got found out. For so what happened was, I just went through my, um, Facebook feed, and then all of a sudden I got some posts from Santana Garrett, and I, because I remember because I had, like, uh, liked her, I guess, because it's a fan page, and <laughs> it actually is her. But, but I just found out she is one of the 32 competitors for the WWE Mae Young Classic, and I'm like, oh no, not her, she's my Favorite again, oy, oy, bae. <laughs> anyway. So apparently, the here are the 32 names, and they put them in order. I'm not not much in order, but I'm just gonna read them off to you guys. So, and uh, maybe I'll put my insight to this. Like the first name we have it as uh, Abby. Uh, See, talk it off, Daddy. This is where you get things. This is the reason why things are starting to get weird. It's actually Kimberly Frankel. Well, Kimberly Frankel. Otherwise known as Kimberly or the Princess Kimberly. I call her that. That's because of Chikara. So she's in it. And she's an XCD Diva now, so. Eh. Alright, the next name we have is Cardi Holjo. I don't know why WWE gave her the name Cardi Sane. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I consider to call her the Queen of the Rolling, and the Queen of the Roaring Elf. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and don't tell, don't make me feel that the King of that. You know, I think she could be better for him. You no, know, my heart is still on. My heart is somewhere else. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so Kari Hojo is in it. I, and, uh, I'll explain to you who I'm choosing. Next we have is Mia Yam. Another one? Oh, come on, WWE. This is me. Ugh, I really like her a lot, and she's a great competitor. Right, and I know she's engaged to Eddie Kingston. <laughs> Too much touch to you. And of course we have Rhea Ripley, which I mentioned in my my wrestling vlog. So she's in it. Another one we have is Multi Bell. She used to be Mia's uh, tag team partner when they're both in DNA wrestling. You know, I'm hearing reports saying it's changing to something else. And that's kind of weird if it's that true, but anyway. So yeah, so Marty Bell is in it. And it looks like, uh, from the photo, it looks like, hey, is that Kimberly? Oh, dear. Really? <laughs> Another name, name who is um, in this is uh, Mercedes Martinez. And I guess they have a photo of her holding the Women's Superstars Uncensored belt. Wow. I'll look into that. And then, of course, we have Candace LeRae, Johnny Gargano's wife. Joey Ryan's best friend and an all-around girl and the only Kansas I recognized. <laughs> and yes, then you guys are thinking, you're crazy, Lindsay. I'm like, no, no, it's true. She's really that great. <laughs> She's one of the best. Barely. <laughs> so. And next we have, oh no. It's the AIW Women's Champion, Shayna Blazer. Elther. Blazer? That's how you say it? Uh, guys, oh, sorry. Yeah, apparently she's in the tournament. Dang, this stinks. Jeez, I hope that you know to pick her up. Oh, another one who just, another name recognized. It's Serena Deeb. <laughs> the last time Serena has been in WWE was, well, during the... Straight Edge Society a, um, run with with uh, Pumpkin Gallows, you know they're all on their own thing. <laughs> and of 
So, yep. And then what we have is the lovely Santana Garrett. It's the one that I mentioned in the beginning of this. And they have her, and they haven't heard tag, her attacking um, and Kana, and her butt is seen. And I'm not talking about Santana. You're really dirty. You're nasty. You're really nasty. <laughs> All right. Our next, then of course we have Katie Lee Ray. Uh, wow, it's another one. And then we have Rachel Evers. I wonder if this is actually. Hang on, I just want to check something. Let me see if I can pull this up. Uh, Wikipedia, baby. I think I, I'm sorry. I have to pull this up from. Yeah, I just have to. I'm sorry, guys. This is kind of ridiculous. I'm making it so ridiculous. But let me make sure these names. Oh, it's not. Even though it says Rachel Evers, it's actually Rachel Ellering. Yeah, that's. If you guys are wondering, I thought she was. Thought she signed with Lucha Underground. She's why is she on the show? Ugh, terrible wrestler. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys, but I have to. Ugh. And then, of course, we have Sage Beckett, which is, it's actually, on, which uh, I know her as Andrea when, in um, World Wrestling Network, right, when she was with us, look how Val. Val. And then we have, it says Zia Li. It's one of the uh, Chinese recruits. Let's so make sure I get this right. Yeah, you know, all right. Yep. I guess I can't get more information. Yep. Uh, Zia he is the next one, and then of course we have Vanessa Bourne. Please tell me she's from the. Wait, let me see. Wait. I want to make sure, because last I recognize the names, but some of the names I do, some of the names I don't, but. I don't know, it's not coming up. I'll have to go through. And then, of course, we have another wrestler goes by the name of Zeda. Uh, she's, from, she's from China. Both, um, so apparently there's. Two Chinese and a Japanese. That's that's nice, dirty. So stupid. You can't keep things right. Jeez. I'd rather have more. I'd rather have to see more Chinese and Japanese than Paul Ellen's daughter. Oh, damn that. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I uh, can't get it. Um. Next one we have is uh, Miranda Sol Salinas. Yes. Yes. She's pretty cute and all. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Reina Gonzalez. Yes. Um, another we have, we have Renee Michelle. Oh. And damn, she's a beauty. <laughs> oh, she can wrestle again. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Ugh, crap. Come on. Uh, 
Let's see. Who else we have? Uh, let's see. We have Nicole Savoy, who is, I think she's from California, so she's where for my friend Patrick, I can't believe this from. Can I get a two sweet for my boy Patrick? <laughs> He's going, you crazy. I'm like, yeah, I know. I think, no, we have a couple more. We have Aisha Raymond. Wow, she almost looks like jazz. Holy crap. Stop it. <laughs> and next we have the Dakota Kai. A. A. Um, Piper and Nathan, because I mentioned about them somewhere. Uh, Tanran. Tanaria uh, Kansi. Kavita Devai. She's trained by the great colleague, I heard. We have Jazzy Gabert, who's actually just known as the Alpha B. L. L. We, and of course, we have Tessa Blanchard. She's dating Ricochet. And from Mexico, we have Princess Princessa Sugarit. Uh, also, we have Sarah Logan. And apparently, one of my fa other favorites into this. The look, even though they call her Lacey Evans, but she's, but I still follow her, and, and she didn't change yet. It's Macy Asperia. Uh, <sighs> even though I'm kind of offended that um, WWE could not pull up more Japanese female wrestlers into this, this but the only one, and that is, is Kari Hojo. I mean, but then we have the two Chinese uh, female wrestlers. This. And yes, so, yeah, um, yeah, and that's, um, yeah, definitely Zia Lee and, uh, uh, Zeda. That's, uh, so, looking for. So, if anybody's looking forward to this, that's really cool as well. Um, but, like I said, one person I'm favoring who could win this tournament and probably will go up against Kana is Kari Hojo. I mean, I mean, there are others, uh, there's maybe, but I think Kari Hojo is the best. And it's not just because I'm saying this and because I have stuck in at the photo of the, uh, Website of daily.com on my phone named Kari does this. <laughs> One day, Kari, I'm going to open the meeting you. And if you're bringing him along, we're going to have to kick his butt. <laughs> but, yeah, but, like I said, even though I'm just saying this is my prediction that Kari... Hojo is going to be the one who's going to win this. It still won't bring out my peak of interest. And my peak of interest right now is been focusing on New Japan Pro Wrestling and the G1, um, the G1 Climax, 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 Sunday, <laughs> which is taking place, um, it's starting within a couple of days, uh, yeah, actually three days is, is going to begin. So, uh, yeah, uh, and we'll start, and we'll have the opening, um, ceremony, is, and hopefully I'll see Kenny Omega. <laughs> I'll prob I think they're going to probably release it, it, so I'll probably wake up in the morning to just watch that, unless, uh, do something crazy in Lenox City. <laughs> but yeah, so, like I said, a, um, for my predictions of who's going to be winning these tournaments, like for example, I, so yeah, so for one who's going to win the G1 um, climax, it's going to be Kenny Omega. I mean, I really want to see him versus Koto Bushi and in, in Kenny winning again, but I know that a lot of people are going to be saying, no way. I mean, it's got to be somebody like Zack Saber Jr. Yeah, I'm not keen on Zack Saber Jr. All right, and it's not just because he's, even though I know he's talented, it's just, it's, I don't, I just don't see him 
as a heavy waiter. But if that happens, then oh, oh. But still, I really want to see Kenny Omega win again this year. So he can go after Okada. Uh, but for the main young classic, which I think is the winner is going to challenge in, I guess, as Kana for the title, I guess it's going to be Kari Hojo. And it's just, and just, it's just my opinion. Alright? <laughs> and I know you guys are probably thinking, why? It's like, they're like, here's what, this, what you're going to say to me. You're going to say, Lindsay, why are you choosing a um, foreigner to win a, in, in uh, a Japanese tournament? And why you want a Japanese to win a foreigner tournament? Well, that's kind of ridiculous. Or if you guys would, if you probably, or if you, if you probably would put this right, why do you want a Gaijin doing a, a native, and why do you want a native winning a Gaijin tournament? So, here's the reason why. Why do I want Kenny Omega to win the G1 Climax, even though he won last year? And why do I want Kari Hojo to win and, and go up against Kana? Because I think that's who that she's probably going up against. Well, it's simple, really. <sighs> For... Kenny to win this, I really, really want to him to win. It's not just because I really like him, but I mean, I mean, he really wants to go after Kota. Uh, I'm sorry, he wants to go after um, Kazukicha Okada, and I think I don't know. I mean, they're met. They're have. They're having their bout again, and in the G1 comic, so it might be go crazy, but hopefully. But I think we'll, I mean, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But in the other, and because of that, I'm always really looking forward to seeing how KP makes it to the finals. I'm hoping Kota uh, Bushi will be, so both of them will go at it, and we'll see what the heck is he talking about. But I still have to go do some research to find out why. Now, as for you guys who are wondering, why do I want Kari Hojo to win the tournament? And, and I guess this faction is he should go up against Kana. Is I guess there's only one woman who can really hit it hard, and I guess that's Kari. He, and I, I'm not being kind of mean or anything, it's just, um, you know, I mean, she's great at it, I would think. I mean, I consider to call her the queen of the Roaring Alpha. And you guys are thinking, who's the heck is the king if she's the queen? Do I have to say it, spell it out for you? Yeah, it's not. You, you're like, you guys are thinking, it's gotta be Kenny Omega. And no, you idiot. Kenny has his own maneuvers, but not with him. He's a freaking Nova Nova. Then, oh, Lindsay. It's you know you said you know you're supposed to say that. Me? What do I? What do you mean? You know you don't want to talk about him anymore because he's screwing up and that crazy, the dirty old favorite. Yep. <laughs> Ugh, I, I, yeah, guys, I'm sorry, that's got a little weird, but I'm just trying to cheer you guys up, um, try to distract you guys, but the truth is, yeah, I mean, if Kari, if you guys are wondering, and if, why is Kari Hojo is concerned to be the queen of the rolling elbow, why, who is concerned to be the king? Who is he? Oh, for Christ's sake. It's freaking Chris Earl, you jerks. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I said. Yank. 
I'm not happy to speak about this, but I, like I said, my mind and my heart is focusing on the G1 comics and G1 for my favorite wrestler, Kenny Omega, to make it to the finals, and him versus Koto Bushi will happen, and that's it. I know this is ridiculous, but it's true. And believe me, if we had an ultimate battle between those two, who, hands down, I know who's going to win, because I, I would go crazy. And if anybody tries to book those match, those two against each other, I'm going to kick their butt. Because the only person who's about to get KO would be, would be the promoter if ever somebody decided to do that. That'd be funny. Between Chris Hero, Kari Hojo, and... Kenny Omega, who to win? No one, because I'm kicking the promoter's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. That is what I'm saying. I know I swear, but... You have to know when the line has to be drawn. So, anyway. Yeah, so, that's how it is. But, you know... But yeah, I mean, the least likely who would have dared winning the Mae Young Classic is Rachel Ellering. I don't see it in her, in it, because one, she, I heard from Jordan Grace, she has been signed with Lucha Underground, so there's no way in heck she's going to win this. Because otherwise, if that is, I'm calling it bullcrap up and favoritism. Um... But yeah, I mean, I see Kari Hojo. Yeah, actually, the least, so yeah, so for my least likely pick, it's going to be for the Mae Young Classic, it's going to be Rachel Ellering. But for the G1, uh, sorry, Patrick, it's going to be Zack Sabre Jr. But my most favorite is either, it's going to be for the, for the Mae Young Classic winning, it's going to be Kari Hojo, but if an alternative, it's going to be Ricochet's girlfriend, Tessa Blanchard. But for the G1, yes, I am hoping it's either going to be Kenny Omega versus Koto Bushi in the finals, and I'm hoping Kenny's going to win again. Or we're going to see Koto Bushi to win. If not, then I'm, put, I'm choosing... I'm, I'm concerned you should Orochi Tanahashi. Hey. Hey. The most kind of shocking win that could also happen, it would be uh, Chus Rollins then. <laughs> Man, that'd be really funny if, if we had, like, them all. It would be really funny if there was an artist who would have a little picture of those who would draw a picture, like an artist. Draws wrestling, and then draws all the wrestlers fighting and over, and like we have Rachel and Zach like crying in because the, they're not favored and, by me, and I'm what's in there, and then all of a sudden, and I'm joined like, and then all of a sudden it'd be like, or it'd be like dog, dog file, and Kenny Vegas on top. I mean that'd be really funny. It'd be like. <laughs> oh, what do you get? That'd be really funny. It's like sitting on the couch, sitting on the throne, and watching everybody to one so I don't like least likely to win. Out there crying <laughs> and getting me on top. <laughs> You're the only person who probably would come in and try to kick you, but that'd be really funny if it would be Chris here on like. Hell no. <laughs> That'd be funny. I don't like. And I'm like. Uh, and then me with a, a a wine glass, but instead of wine, it's considered to be water. <laughs> and I cheer him and say, "Congratulations, Kenny. You are the best wrestler out there." And that's because he said he wants to become the best wrestler in the world. That's actually really funny. That'd be happening. Be, Kenny's like, I'm the best wrestler. Him saying, I'm the best wrestler in the world. Good. And it's like, goodbye and good night.
bang. <laughs> That'd be funny. And then of course we have like Chris Harrell said, Oh no you not <laughs> Maybe even um Sam Punk and Brian Daniel say say, Oh really <laughs> Actually, this is funny. It's like, in wrestler, I, I, I really like, like, they are the ones who end up revealing, saying they want to become the best wrestler in the world. And I do believe that, out of anybody that I know, female or male, Kenny Omega is considered to be the best wrestler in the world. And it's not just because... I, and not just because I'm saying because I like him. It's just, you got to see him wrestle. Anyway, guys, I guess this is where I wrap things up. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, like, subscribe, notification bell, turn on, leave a comment on who you think is going to win the tournament. And, uh, yeah. And don't forget to share. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, screw you, Rachel Allen. You and.